Welcome back everybody to R44's YouTube channel. Today, you find us with our F80 M3 and a new product. So this is the JQ Mad Trace Paddle Shifter. This is a direct replacement with a bit of a twist. Um, but yeah, this is a new product to our portfolio here at R44. So if you are a dealer, we are the UK and EU distributor, as well as um, you can just buy it as a retail customer. Uh, but let's get straight into it. So this video is primarily gonna be a little bit of an unboxing and a full install guide for the F-Series cars. This paddle shifter, this F-Series platform one will fit from one to four series, um, including your F20 diesels all the way up to your M3s and M4s. Um, first of all, what a beautiful box. So you open up the box, remove some of the packaging. You can see you're greeted with the two paddle shifters, inclusive of all the modules, everything. Um, all the fixings are nicely displayed here. So if you have a look, we'll start with the boring stuff first. So some screws, some replacement screws some smaller screws to adjust it, change the paddles, and look at that. So, this is the boring stuff first, but it's still quite exciting. So, let's take out one of the paddles. So, it's a direct replacement. So it's fully machined, um, like base and top. You can see it's got the magnet there, and this is creating that noise you want. So it's pretty much like a Formula One car, like a race car paddle shifter, direct plug-in, no coding required, um, and it comes with two options for paddle shifter so that in carbon or there's an option isn't there Dylan on the website that you can choose CNC machined um, but it's quite cool in the box they give you two options uh, the long paddle shifter or the short and there you go there's not much more to really talk about it it's just beautifully made obviously all machine fixings even the fixing that uh, attaches the shifter module to the wheel is a machine fixing um, so it's getting rid of all the plastic um, but yeah that is what we're going for. But let's get in the car. Let's show you how to remove the F-Series steering wheel. Then we'll bring the wheel here and we'll show you how to install them. They're a quick install, so let's get it done. All right, so we are now inside the car. What we're going to do is remove the steering wheel. You can do this with the steering wheel in situ, um, but let's go straight into it. So we're going to remove the airbag using a flathead screwdriver. Aim to get one with a bit of length on it and around about four to five millimeters wide. Push it into this hole and you'll feel a little spring inside. Um, so I'm just going to push this in there and then what we'll do is we'll show you what we're touching when it's on the workbench, but I'll catch you back in a second. All right, so now the airbag is released. Using your flathead screwdriver, push down on the, the uh, plug, just on the clip part, just there. Clip down there and then what I do is, there's another plug in there, just release that. What, what I do is put my screwdriver under the plug and pull it up a little bit and it will release it. As per what I said, um, we're going to remove it from the car. So we're going to remove this now. Um, but if you want to do it in situ, we can show you that over there as well. Um, so using, I'm using a impact gun. You can use a handheld. Um, it's torqued to 55 Newton meters when you torque it back up, but we'll talk about that later. So it's one second. So we release that, keep that somewhere safe and then release the steering wheel like so. So let's catch you back at the workbench. All right, so we have now got the steering wheel in front of us. Um, what you were doing with the flathead screwdriver, you were coming in this channel here and you were pushing back this spring. Um, so that's the main thing to focus on is um, just yeah, pulling out the airbag, make sure you unclip everything and we're gonna go straight into it. One screw that holds the paddle shifter in, it's this T25 um, Torx bit. So just hold the paddle shifter on the back and loosen it back off. And then put this aside. So we'll pull that out. So it's that silver screw there. Put that aside. We are losing that, but what we can do is we'll put it back into the paddle shifter after. So we now, using some needle nose pliers, I use the slightly angled ones. You want to reach down. What you can do is undo some of the wiring that's in front of the paddle shifter connection, then reach down. You can see in there, Dylan. And you're going to go down and grab that clip. I, know, I grab it by the black housing around the clip and pull it out like so. So you can see I've just grabbed it from the side. Now with your hands, pull it apart like so. And that's that, so that's out. So what I'd highly recommend doing, these are obviously a valuable piece of money, so you can either sell them online um, to fund your beautiful JQ paddles, um, but that's the replacement. So let's do this next to this one here and show you the big difference. So pull out the same paddle shifter, which is this one here, and we'll give it the versus the old. So obviously it's a bit of a sound thing that we're hearing now, but it's mainly that passion that we're gonna feel when we're driving the car. Um, but yeah, let's, um, Din's gonna 
fly off with these now and take some photos and then we will find you back here when we reinstall them. All right, so we are now gonna do the reinstallation. So it's a simple uh, process of just feeding the cable back through. Um, I don't focus too much on the installation of the paddle first. Main thing is let's get it all plugged in. So let's push that in there like so. Feed this back down. This side of this clip has actually got a bit of a tog, like a, I don't know, a clip on it or such. So it clips into the backing trim of the steering wheel. So we'll push, push it down there. Um, and let's get it in there like so. Switch it around. And then push it down and in. So that's now in. Put your cable back in like so, and just make sure the routing, what I highly recommend doing is taking a photo of the routing as it comes from a factory steering wheel to then replicate it. It's very important to make sure the operation of the steering wheel, the airbag is as per normal. Then we go to refit it. Um, the steering wheel is very good fit in there as well, which is lovely. Um, so let's fit that in there. You can get a two mil, 2.5 mil Allen key. Um, you're gonna put it into the new machine fixings provided by JQ. Feed it down into that hole. Hold the back, very lightly thread it in um, because you are playing with metal on metal. You wanna be careful of any cross threading or any problems like that. Um, and just tighten that up. So we're just gonna hand tighten that now and we'll catch you back in right, a second. So now just lightly tighten that, hand tight, and away we go. Very, very smooth operation as expected. Um, so now we're just going to tuck that cable back in um, and we're going to do the same thing on this side of the wheel and uh, find you back in the car. All right, so we are going to install the steering wheel. In the center of the steering wheel, there's a flat spot on the spine and there's a little line on the spine on the steering wheel column. Slide it in, line them up. I've calibrated my um, torque gun up to the right torque for the steering wheel, but we normally torque them at 55 Newton meters. Um, so you can torque them up. And that's done. Then plug in your steering wheel, plug in your airbag, and push it in. One set, let's get this fitted. There you go. Car's fitted, move around, all works. All right, well, as easy as that, you can shop online today, install them yourself, and go and enjoy. So see you later. Let's start this up and go for a rip. Yeah.